Hey everybody, it's Patricia and welcome back to my channel. It's time for a chatty get ready with me. If you're new here, what I do is put on my makeup and just tell you what's going on in my life. Sometimes I tell you what I'm doing with my, my makeup and sometimes I don't. This is more just like a sitting, chit-chatting while I put on my makeup. That's all it is. Um, I've already done my skincare. And look at my face. Do you see all of this? It's not zits. My skin is smooth to touch. It's all underneath. It's not, it's not zits. Um, allergic reaction? I mean, I have allergies. But I haven't used anything new. This has been going on for a little while now. And it just seems to have gotten a little worse. So I'm not really sure. Rosacea? Maybe. I don't know. I don't really know. So, anyway, it covers up with makeup. So we're going to cover it up today. Like I said, I've already done my skincare and I have put my primer on. And like I said, nothing really new that I can go back to the, when this all started. Because this, this has been gradually coming on all summer. Maybe from the heat. Heat, heat rash? Let me tell you. It's been 100 degrees. But, except for last week. And we'll talk about last week. But, I don't know. I don't know. Well, let's get started. All my brushes are clean. Nothing is dirty. Can you believe that? Let's find my good brush. Um, yeah. So, I'm going to use this Face Bond Foundation from Urban Decay that they kindly sent to me. I still can't believe that. But... This really is good. I know my video wasn't like the best made. I watched it and I'm like, I could do a lot better. I need to do a lot better. Um, but this foundation, I swear, it looks great on and it did last. It lasted 12 hours without me touching it up. I never touched it up. Never did. Where I wear my glasses, it was worn a little. But other than that, no. Sorry about my hair. I just got my hair down. I don't know. I don't know. Feel I started the day with a migraine and it's gone. Um, I do feel like fall though. I got these earrings in. It's gonna be a fall look today because I woke up Saturday and it's like the little switch in my head, the fall switch switched on. It's like okay, fall time. Let's let's decorate, which I haven't. I haven't decorated my house, but you know let's. Let's get ready for Halloween and let's get ready for fall. Am I in focus? I'm hoping. I hope. Look how well that, see? It, this is a really good foundation. Uh, but, you know, my little swap fall switch switched on. And I think what helped was the week before. I haven't talked to you guys in a while. Last week was Hurricane Debbie that turned into Tropical Storm Debbie. By the time she got to my house, she was Tropical Storm. Look at that. Can you see? This should have been my this should have been my video. Look at this. Look at that. But, um, yeah, the storm came. I was, I was stressing. It was my first storm here. Last year we got a tropical storm. It came through in a day. I wasn't here. I was in Asheville. And Brian said, oh, it was nothing. I can't go by my husband. You, ladies, you know, you can't go by what your husband says. <laughs> so, I really wasn't expecting. I'm going by, you know, what the forecasters are saying and what they're telling me in my area and um yeah so tropical storm debbie came and she sat here we had rain from i think the rain started like sunday started raining then but we didn't really have the bulk of the storm it rained monday tuesday wednesday thursday 
uh, Friday uh, it rained about half the day and then it was pretty much out of here um, we had some flash flooding where an area would flood the, the streets would flood and then it recede back down uh, but starting Saturday we had flooding after the sun was out you know storms gone but the water is still our um, river that cuts right it's right between Camden and Lugolf I know you guys don't know what I'm talking about but yeah that river is way <laughs> out of its banks it's flooded an entire park um, pretty good sized park uh, it's really it's really flooded and um, I need some powder. I cleaned up my desk and put things away. I was going to film it and then I didn't. Maybe I should have, but I didn't. Where did I put my powders? That's a good question. <laughs> That's a good question. That's what happens when you clean up, isn't it? What did I do with my powder? I need to set my foundation. I found it. I took, um, Let me go back. My friend Aiden at English Prof Style, a while back, I mean, this has been a while, she sent me her Cover FX powder. Uh, I don't think she cared for it. Perfect setting powder. Uh, she sent it to me, and I used it up, and I thought, this is a nice container. I'm going to keep it. And I've been out of powder, loose powder, so I've been using samples. Well, when I was cleaning up, I took like six samples and filled up this. So, that's it's a mixture of everything. Ah! And it made a mess. It made a mess. So, we're gonna try to use this here. But yeah, anyway. The flooding hit here Saturday. And uh, it's still, the river's still flooded. Um, parts of interstates flooded around here. Streets flooded. Surprisingly, um, I only lost power for just a little while. One morning, I don't remember what morning it was. It wasn't long, and they had it right back on. I mean, I was kind of shocked. Uh, and we never had really the wind. We had some gusts, but we never really had wind. It was just like a steady rain. But the best part, it was like in the 70s. Oh my lord, it felt so good outside. I even at one point went out and sat on my uh, glider. Uh, it's like a, well, I, we'll just call it the glider. I went out and sat on that on the deck. And it was just, it was just raining steady. We had not one thunderstorm in that whole entire, a whole entire uh, storm. There was not one, not one thunderstorm. Which I thought kind of strange. Well, we didn't have any thunder, lightning. It was really odd. It was the oddest thing. But, uh, yeah, we got through it just fine. It was really weird. And they had me scared. They keep saying, oh, the worst day is going to be on Thursday. And schools closed. Because our schools already started here. Schools closed on Thursday. Businesses closed on Thursday. Hey, there was nothing. Ryan went to work, but there was nothing. It was, it was, it was nothing. I, I don't understand. Of course, I don't think they knew. Nobody knew. You, you, it's hard to tell. Now, next time when something comes through, I might be a little lackadaisy and then wish I had been. So, I keep telling myself that. You just don't know. Better to be over-prepared than not prepared at all, right? So, I have a pantry full of Chef Boyardee. <laughs> and I've got cases of water. And so I'm set. I got batteries, battery packs. I got candles. I'm set. I'm set if, not if, when the next one comes around. And there's another storm brewing out there in the Atlantic. But they think it won't come here, so... We'll just wait and see. We'll just play that by ear. All right, there we go. Uh, 
So yeah, that was the, the storm. It turned out to be nothing. But let me tell you, the Sunday before the storm, we went to Walmart. Because when I went shopping on Saturday, I was thinking, this is not going to be anything. I just did my regular grocery shopping. And then I'm listening to the news and they're saying, oh, you know, floods of the, you know, we're not catastrophic. And we're, we've not seen floods like this, you know, in the, a century and blah, 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 blah. So I'm like, oh, crap. Because I looked up the flood table, the flood flood areas <laughs> and if we do get major major flooding my little neighborhood will be cut off I won't be able to get out of my neighborhood and I went and looked uh, the other day sure enough I guess I never paid attention there's streams and bigger than a creek I guess a stream there's streams all around my neighborhood I guess if I did an aerial view, I would see how much water is really around me. I, oh, a lot of water around me. Now, my street and the street behind me is not in a flood zone. But just to get past those streets, you're in a flood zone. So, I was like, oh, well, we could get stuck in here. I don't know if it's ever happened. But, I mean, if, you know, flood, catastrophic flooding, what do you think? You're going to get blocked in. You can't get out. So, uh, we went to Walmart. Stocked up on Chef Boyardee. And let me tell you. We have two areas of self-checkout on each end. And they usually just have that open and nothing else. But then, they had that open. And they had six registers. And everything was lined up back through the store the lines to check out it was crazy at Walmart it was crazy but we got through it we got our Chef Boyardee I got other things too but you know, I got a lot of Chef Boyardee and Brian's already uh, gotten into the Chef Boyardee stash we'll just replenish it when the next storm comes but I mean he won't need it all because man how many I got about 12 cans of Chef Boyardee. I got beefaroni. I got ravioli. I, I got it all. We're, we're good. We're good with that. Okay. Since I am in this fall, crazy fall mood, I pulled out the Nomad Hudson Valley palette. Let's get going with this. I love summer. Don't get me wrong. I love summer. But I do believe I love fall more than summer. Here, I don't think it's going to get cool till November. And then I'm into Christmas mode. It's not like I'm going to have a fall. I'm, I can have like the fall things, but not the fall weather. Because here, I remember all the way through Halloween, it was nice. Short sleeve weather. So, um, I'm thinking I need some fall fall clothing that's not heavy and I don't have that and you know I have some really nice sweaters that I never even touched last year because it's too warm here for sweaters so yeah um, let me move some those are clean there we go let me move this out I'm going to use that in a minute and get to my these brushes everybody's clean here all right now I'm going to start off with this one right here that is ghost town I think nomad is debuting a new a new palette today I'm not sure I'm hoping to get this filmed edited and just up for you guys today uh, that's my goal. It's still pretty early, I think. Hey, Google, what time is it? 9.55 a.m. Okay, it's almost 10 o'clock. All right. I'm going to go into uh, apple cider donut. That's that one. And use that in my transition area. There we go. I have been working on a crochet piece that I'm making for me. 
and um, I'm hoping to get that finished this evening. I'm hoping it's a very intricate pattern and I'm, I'm really enjoying it, but it's nothing. I mean, if I made it to sell, it would be an expensive piece. I am trying to figure out what I'm doing here. Um, I want to continue crocheting. I want to crochet pieces to sell and then pieces just to keep or to sell for the right person that comes along. But I need to gear up my Etsy with my ornaments because I get notices all the time about I've got new people favoring my uh, rhinestone pieces and I do really well during the holidays with those so I ordered some more rhinestones today they're not vintage but I'm gonna do what I can with what I got maybe it can stretch my vintage if I can put some vintage in a piece uh, because I just can't afford those vintage jewels what do I want to go with I don't want to do a brown eye I want I do want it to be fall but I don't want it to be brown you know those are just good basics to start my eye look with and I really I don't know if I want to do green I think I'm gonna go in with um, Oktoberfest right here I know it looks brown it's a it's a brown with some like a hint of purple burgundy kind of in it I'm gonna put that on my refer number 12 brush and I'm going to go in my crease with it. And we're going to... I think I'm focusing my um, color in the center to open up my eye. I have big eyes anyway, but if you have smaller eyes, focus your, your um, crease color in the center. It's higher in the center than it is on the sides. And then that'll help to make your eye, see? Makes your eye look bigger. Yeah. I've got some more ideas for this channel. I have filmed all of the, um, my palette, my ultimate palette showdown. I'm just, they're all edited and then they'll just be released, uh, one a week till we get them all done. So I've got those all in reserve. The ones I haven't released yet. You'll get one this week, later in the week. And so I've got some other ideas for things. I just, I tried vlogging. I don't think I'm a vlogger. So I'm not gonna say I won't vlog anymore but I'm not going to vlog a lot because, mm, come on. Sorry. I, um, I just, that's not me. I'm not a vlogger. I wish I was. I wish, I don't know why I'm not. I guess I could be if I really focused on it. I don't know. All right. I like that. I want, I don't red. I don't think I want. making this up as I go. Come on, stay focused. Stick focused for me. Um, mm -mm. Let's do a kind of a fun an orange orange and wine. I'm going to use the same brush, but I'm going to go in with wine harvest on it. I'm not cleaning it out. And I'm going to go with my outer V here and get that wine color on it. Like that. I'm hoping hoping I'm not guaranteeing I'm hoping to start my new channel this week if I do I'll put it in the community tab 
and I'll try to put it on Facebook maybe that I have a new YouTube channel that's all going to be crafts and arts and uh, I would love it if you guys would subscribe if you don't want to that's fine I understand not all beauty people are into crafts but I'm going to try to do both channels all right, now I'm going to really, I really want to use this color. So I am going to go in with like a paddle brush. I'm going to Cider House. And I'm going to the inner. Yeah. I want it into the inner V. I'm leaving the middle clear. You know why. My signature eye look, I guess. But I'm going to go crazy. I think I'm going to use the green. On my finger, the green is corn maize. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Let me go back with this one and just kind of blend the edges out here a little bit. I like that. I like that. I'm going to take a detail brush, go into corn maze, which is green metallic. I'm going under my lower lash line about a third of the way. About a third. Like that. I'm going to clean that brush out. I'm going to go into Wine Harvest, which is the outer V, and I'm going to sweep that over to meet Corn Maze. Yeah, I like it. Mm -hmm. I like that a lot. Clean that out. I don't think I'm going to put any liner on. I'm not going anywhere. Mascara. I've got Tardis. The Tardis mascara. I don't. It's not my favorite. I do have it. I'm going to use it up. Not my favorite. So I'm not going to like recommend it. I mean it's okay. I probably got this when I did a Tarte bag. Um in the past you know I used to do that a, I did it a few times where you would pick your foundation your concealer and you know and you always got a mascara I think that's where this one came from because it's a full size and I wouldn't have purchased a full size I'm having a hot flash if I'm gonna purchase a mascara it's probably going to be Rollerball. I haven't used that in a while. I think I have samples. Maybe I will pull that out next. I do, I really prefer to use sample mascaras. Because I can go through them and I know they, uh, you know, don't go bad. Because I don't really wear makeup every day. I don't wear makeup every day. There's no, there's no question about that. Ah, I like. I will put some highlighter on the. Uh, no, you know what? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna take another clean paddle brush. I'm gonna go into Ghost Tour, and I'm just gonna brush that up here. I'm gonna be different. We're just gonna kind of blend that up there. There we go. A little, little plainer today. Look how my my gray is growing out. I'm actually okay with that gray color. I just wish it would grow out a little quicker. I'm all right with it. My mother had this beautiful white hair. It's like though one day she stopped dyeing her hair and it was white, but. She was older than 60 when she did that. She had 
her hair was dyed red. My mother kept her hair red. And then she would fuss at me for going blonde. I'm like, you're not a redhead either. Woman, you're not redheaded either. Let's see. Do I want to grab singles? The palette's the easiest though, isn't it? Just grab a palette. Let's just grab hourglass. Lunar Beauty, look how clean it's clean. Um, I'm going to take the fluffy side and go into the bronzer that's in here. Just kind of bronze the edges. We took our pool down for the storm, and I don't know if we'll put it back up. We are discussing going back up to Asheville for Labor Day. We'll probably do that. We will probably do that. The cat did fine by herself while we went up last time. My eye itches. Yeah, the cat did fine by herself last time. I think she'll be fine again. She's not the most social cat. She's not social at all. When anybody comes to my house, she's hidden. She's gone. Uh, we've had that cat seven years, and my mother-in-law just now has seen the cat, and the cat lived with her in our bedroom the whole time we were there, and she never saw that cat. It's crazy. She is not a social kitty cat. I'm going to go with this bronzer blush right here. It's a kind of a mauve -y. Get it on my brush. I don't know if I'm going to do highlighter on my cheeks. I have like natural highlights on my cheeks. When I put highlighter, I really shine. I'm going to take my finger into the little highlighter here. Just a little on the end of my nose. Just a little. I want my cupid's bow. It's not going too bad. Now, I've got this, I got in from Ipsy. Um, I purchased this for $3. I hauled it for you guys, and it said um, it's infused with raspberry and blackberry extracts so that it smells delicious. And I said I didn't really smell it. Can I open it? Yeah, there we go. I can't really smell it, but with my finger... I applied this one the other day. I could taste it. It had a berry taste to it. So I'm going to go with my finger with this middle one. Instead of a brush. Oh yeah. Yep. Definitely. That's nice. Now I've got it on my finger. I don't have anything over here. I left it on the inside of my trash bag. There we go. That's it. I think that looks pretty good. I think I'll wear this foundation today without, without the setting spray they sent me. And I'll see how it does. If I think the setting spray is what kept it good and on my face or if it's the foundation itself okay I'm happy with this so guys thank y'all for joining me while I put on my makeup and let me chit chat uh, <clears throat> yeah I enjoyed this I hope you did too if you did please give me a thumbs up that really helps me out a lot sorry my my camera just said nope I'm not gonna film anymore <clears throat> like I said, leave me a comment below, even if it's just a bunch of hearts. Uh, that helps me out a lot. And um, if you're new, if you're new to this channel, I'd love it if you would subscribe. So guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time. <laughs>